This is my favorite way to shoot handheld on the Panasonic GH5. Welcome to Dirt Video Shooter. My name is Victor Bart, and here we have my uh, setup to shoot handheld, and it is built up like a red camera. So on big screen on top, um, nice uh, small packets with a top handle. Here we have the audio, and I really love this. My main camera is the Panasonic GH5, not the S because I like the stabilization and the lenses I'm using are Canon FD prime lenses on a Roxen uh, focal reducer and I really love this combination and the lens right now is a 70 mm f4 so in terms of full frame that makes it like a 24 mm and I shot a truck show with this setup so one prime lens was enough to shoot the whole truck show the trucks coming in and out it was uh, really nice and i put it on just f8 hyper focus so everything was in focus but for the truck show that is a good solution i also have custom 3d printed uh, focus rings on my uh, canon fd lenses so i can also use it when i follow focus and the ND filter that I'm using is SLR Magic Fader ND and I really love this because it has hard stops. And this is a really, really high quality ND filter. I really recommend uh, one. But to build it up like a red camera, you need a camera cage so you can attach all the accessories. And I'm using the Sakuto GH5 cage and I really love that cage. It's top quality and uh, it comes with this side handle with a nice wooden grip and also the HDMI uh, pincher is also included and the uh, uh, right angle connector so this is really solid in the camera and uh, it won't break your HDMI port also I have the Sakuto top handle with the rod port here and it's mounted here on a NATO rail which is on top of the Sakuto G85 cage. The nice thing about the top handle is you can really make some low angle shots and angle the motor forward so you can see the framing. And the monitor is a small HD focus monitor in a small rear cage so it is really protected. And I really like this setup with the cage around the monitor and the small HD focus monitor is really a high quality monitor and it is 5 inch which is perfect size for a setup like this and you can really punch in the focus and all kinds of focus assists and LUTs, everything. To mount a monitor I have this small rig DSLR uh, monitor holder and it is a really handy holder. I turned it upside down so it's now bolted under the cage and here you have a screw and now you can simply unscrew the monitor if you want to remove it like this and you can mount it on all a uh, quarter inch uh, screw threads so it's really flexible where you mount this monitor the monitor is powered by a big sony battery and there's also a dummy battery in the camera connected to the monitor so this is the only power source now for the whole setup and it gives longer battery life than the gh5 battery but not that much longer like one and a half times more but i didn't measure it exactly for the audio on the truck show i used my uh, rode video mic stereo and i really like this stereo microphone uh, for the truck show because when you have a shotgun mic on a truck show and a truck uh, drives by uh, with a big engine noise or uh, slamming his horn, then your sound on your shotgun microphone is really peaking. But with the stereo microphone, it doesn't pick up the sound directly uh, from that point, but more in general. So your sound levels are much nicer. So it's not uh, that you have an, really a peak when they uh, sound their horn, but more a bump. Here on the side handle I put the microphone on the cold shoe, but I made a custom bracket to get the microphone away from the monitors. So the microphone is not touching the monitor and you don't get any extra noise from that. What I really like about the Sakuto cage is this hand strap. And also they didn't put any extra uh, bar here. So the hand uh, grip is just like the original hand grip but with the extra support of the strap so you have a really good grip on your camera and with smaller hands it's really working 
so you can reach all the controls here. Together with the side handle you can make really nice and steady shots or you can put your uh, hand here under the quick release plate to focus or to adjust the exposure with the ND filter. It's a really nice and neat package and on the bottom I put a Manfrotto quick release plate so I can easily put it on my tripod or I can put a camera on my uh, iFootage uh, monopod. So I can quickly move from uh, handheld to tripod to monopod just what I need for the shot. I really love shooting with this package because it's really nice and small and good grips, uh, good handling and uh, with a 5 inch monitor you can have a really good view on what you're doing with focus peaking on all the uh, gadgets you want. And I have a full kit of Canon FD prime lenses to go on here or I put uh, in my native lenses like the 1235 or the 70mm f1.8 Olympus which I'm now using on my GH5 to film this. Or I can even use the 35100 and catch some tailor shots or the 7 to 40 millimeter really nice and versatile uh, this setup i'm always shooting in 4k and i'm using 256 gigabyte sun disk cards just 95 megabytes second cards in a mirror mode and i'm shooting 150 megabit uh, codec and i really love the result of it and i don't need the 400 mbit and the faster cards because on two cards uh, in mirror I can shoot 3 hours and 45 minutes so that is more than enough for a full day of shooting. If I need a follow focus or want to shoot anamorphic I can use my uh, Sakuto VCT uh, Pro and mount the camera here on top and then I have a really nice uh, camera package which I also can put on my shoulder and with a nice Sakuto follow focus. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video, subscribe and uh, leave a comment and let me know what is your favorite way to rig up your GH5.